More than 12 years after the killings, the families of Chris Newsom and Shannon Christian are preparing to head to court once again. Their children were kidnapped, tortured and killed in January of 2007. The final suspect to be charged with murder will stand trial this week. Well, the case has had many twists and turns over the years with retrials and convictions. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan spoke with the families before this latest trial. Cole. Robin and John, Chris and Shannon's parents say it doesn't get any easier to sit in that courtroom, but they say they'll do it day after day until they get justice. Shannon Christian and Chris Newsom were planning to go to dinner on January 6, 2007. Instead, they were carjacked, brought to this house on Chipman Street, tortured and killed. Not deserve this. Didn't deserve this. Newsom's body was found the next day, tied up, gagged, and shot from behind. His body was found lying beside the tracks. It launched a desperate search for Shannon. We're hoping that, that we do have uh, able to, to find her and that, that she is still alive. The day after her family found her car nearby, investigators raided the Chipman Street house. Her body was stuffed in a garbage can where she suffocated to death. Her father remembers their last conversation. And I said, all right, be careful. And I love you. Five suspects were eventually arrested, four charged with murder, rape, and kidnapping in state court. After two retrials, their sentences ranged from 35 years to death. The punishment is death. Gotcha. But one of the five never faced murder, rape, or kidnapping charges. Eric Boyd was convicted of a federal crime, accessory after the fact. Family members have lobbied the DA to bring those charges, and last spring, they finally did. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Giving the families another opportunity to seek justice for their murdered kids. I promised Chris when I embraced his form in the casket that I will be in court every time one of those suspects makes an appearance. He says he's been to court 379 times. It's, it's never going to stop. They say it doesn't get any easier, and the memory of their children doesn't fade. Chris, 23, a standout Halls High School baseball player. Number 14, he loved the outdoors, fishing, golfing, and Notre Dame football. Shannon was 21 and a senior at UT. Her friends say she had a smile that lit up the room. Her father still thinks about her every day. I think the good goal is for me to try to be more like she was. The trial begins with jury selection on Monday. We will be there from the first gavel until the trial is over. We'll send it back to you. Cole, thank you.